Now to your other top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The Modesto officer shot over the weekend is still undergoing surgery. The police department says officer Michael Rocati was shot in his ballistic vest and the lower abdomen, which injured an artery to his leg. Turning to Afghanistan, Pentagon officials say the U.S. will have up to 4,000 troops on the ground in Kabul by tomorrow. The Pentagon says they plan to transport up to 9,000 people a day to complete its evacuation efforts by the end of the month. Start at the north end. No idea what's gonna happen. This comes as the Taliban holding their first press conference today since seizing power. They promised amnesty for those who worked with American and NATO forces, vowing not to hunt them down or seek retribution. But they made it clear the rights of Afghan women will follow strict law. Thousands of Afghans that call Sacramento home terrified for their family's survival. One person telling us his family living in fear of getting killed. My entire remaining family in Kabul is currently staying in a basement. Um, as of a couple of hours ago, I have lost any forms of communication with them. Turning to the coronavirus, as Placer County has broken a new record for ICU hospitalizations, topping their winter high of coronavirus patients in ICU beds. It comes as the Biden administration is expected to announce all Americans can get a booster shot as soon as next month. But a spokesman for Yolo County says they're still waiting for a series of approvals, starting with the FDA. Texas's governor, Greg Abbott, just tested positive for COVID-19. He is fully vaccinated vaccinated and says he is experiencing no symptoms. Meanwhile, New York City's vaccine mandate went into effect today. People dining inside at restaurants, browsing museums, or sweating in its gyms now have to show proof of vaccination. To Haiti, the death toll continues to rise after a 7.2 earthquake hit the country over the weekend. More than 1,900 now dead. There's a desperate struggle to survive after heavy rains from the tropical storm Grace halted rescues. And in Arizona, there was much needed rain but it came with flash flooding. People in Flagstaff are now cleaning up. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.